Their land means more than just green grass and space. To a Nebraska farmer, it's life. And tonight, landowners say they will not go down without a fight. TransCanada has until mid-January to acquire the land needed to build the Keystone XL pipeline through Nebraska. Good evening, I'm Megan Matthews. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Tonight, a new offer from the company is on the table for landowners. Reporter Josh Egbert spoke with a farmer. He has reaction. Josh. Craig, the Nebraska Supreme Court could rule as early as this week on the legality of the Keystone XL pipeline's route through Nebraska. Landowners are holding out hope they deem it unconstitutional, but TransCanada says they're moving forward. Overall, this is my fourth offer. It's land that has been in Jim Tarnick's family for the last 125 years. Two things that keep this farm and ranch going, and that's uh, the land and the water. But Tarnick says the proposed Keystone XL pipeline threatens both the land and water. I guess you could call it a bullying tactic, but uh, yeah, it was very frustrating to, to receive a letter like that. He and dozens of other landowners recently received a letter from TransCanada with new offers of right away payments. This Monday we did send out a letter to just the roughly 100 people here in Nebraska that we have not been able to reach agreement with to date that, that further outlines the process moving forward. You may be seated. Under Nebraska law, TransCanada, the company who wants to build the Keystone XL pipeline, has until January 22nd to acquire the land needed for it. We will have to initiate any eminent domain actions prior to that expiration date. If landowners don't agree to the new offers, TransCanada says it will use eminent domain by January 16th. The $8 billion Keystone XL pipeline project would carry crude oil from Canada to the Texas Gulf Coast. A 275-mile stretch of that would run through Nebraska. Craig says so far they've reached agreements with 84 percent of landowners and are hoping for 90 percent by January. It's been a serious miscalculation on TransCanada's part. They don't understand how deeply connected people are to their land here in Nebraska. But for some farmers and ranchers like Jim Tarnick, they won't go down without a fight. We're in the fight too. It's absolutely put a stop to. Now, the Keystone XL will be at the top of the agenda in January when the Senate returns to work. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell says approving the pipeline is their top priority. The White House has indicated, though, that President Obama might veto a bill if it hits his desk. Reporting live in the studio, Josh Egbert, KMTV Action 3 News. All right, upping the stakes for sure. Thanks, Josh.